Pastor Kim Jong-hoon, Dr. Kim, established the Yongin Sangmin Prayer Center in Korea in 1997. He spread the gospel to many people who gathered from all over the country through providing spiritual revival services every summer and winter that impacted many lives. After two years, Dr. Kim founded the Sangmin Central Church in April 1999 through experiencing the amazing presence of God at Sangmin Prayer Center. Changing the church's name to Chukbuk Church, which means World Blessing Church, and setting its mission as a missionary church, a serving church, and a revival church. Dr. Kim led over 20,000 young adults and middle-aged people who were registered in the church. Chukbuk Church is located in Suwon and Gangnam, formerly located in Yeoksamdong and Dachidong. Dr. Kim has spread the gospel to countless people around the world through more than 1,500 revival assemblies at home and abroad over the past two decades and nurtured the vision and dream of world mission for young people of the Chukbuk Church. In every assembly, miracles have occurred. The sick were healed and the people proclaimed God is alive and gave all their glory to the Lord, praising the Lord with enthusiasm. <laughs> Since the late 1980s, Pulse A. Kim's 700 assemblies has been directed around the world with the Holy Spirit's fire. Dr. Pulse A. Kim has been honored with medals and plaques of appreciation from the Congress, the White House, and the government of the United States. This document is to show Dr. Paul J. Kim's ministerial history of 21 years. Due to lack of record and limited space, it only shows major overseas events after 1998. Dr. Paul J. Kim led about 1,000 revival meetings, conferences, and crusades even prior to 1998. In 1998, at LA Grace Ministries International, Dr. Kim took part in a revival assembly which was full of grace. In 2000, he participated in the United Revival Meeting, which was held in the Guangdong District, Japan. On the same year, there was a massive evangelization revival assembly in Israel, attended by Christian leaders from all over the world. And in celebration of the 56th anniversary of Korean's liberation, a national unification prayer meeting was held at the Olympic Park in Seoul, in which a large crowd gathered. In November 2001, due to the success of the large-scale assembly held first at Rizal Park in the Philippines, in which hundreds of thousands of locals participated and came to believe in Jesus, another large-scale assembly was held once again at Tonto, Philippines in November 2002. Dr. Paul J. Kim supported Korean National Prayer Breakfast for years, and in 2002, he preached in front of the Korean politicians participated in the Korea-Japan Missionary Federation as a representative. And revival Assembly in Japan There were many domestic and international revival assemblies in 2003. On August 15th, Dr. Kim participated in a ceremony for the remembrance of liberation of Korea and national salvation prayer services and raised the Taegeukki, which is the national flag of Korea, in front of LA City Hall. In the same year, he was commissioned as the general chairman of the Korea Christian Prayer Center Assembly and gave a thank you service on September 25th at the Sangmin Prayer Center. 2003, he was invited with Reverend Sam Han Kim to 100th anniversary of Korean immigrants to LA Assembly. The assembly was the largest gathering of people in Korean immigrants' history, and Reverend Kim was the main speaker. In two Indian revival services in March and December 2003, hundreds of thousands of Indians accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior every day. In 2004, the Great New York Evangelization Conference, hosted by the Korean Church in New York, was held at the Colton Center at Queens College. In celebration of the 60th anniversary of Korea's liberation, 
The first national unification prayer assembly was held at Olympic Weightlifting Stadium. The second was held at Fencing Stadium, where Dr. Posey came with a revival assembly where the countless people gathered with Pastor Lee Tae Hee and Shin Hyun Kyung. In March 2005, he was elected the president of the Revival Instructor Association. Two years later, in 2007, the Christian Union Evangelism Assembly in Seattle sparked the fire of the World Revival Assembly. The flame of the World Revival Assembly continued until the 2008 Atlanta Union Evangelization Conference and caused the movement of the Holy Spirit. In 2009, proclaiming the word of God, which pierced the hearts of the soul, he led a healing crusade and a praise concert with the word blessing praise. A praise team of young people from the Chukbuk Church, at the Dallas Binary Church, the Crystal Church, and the U.S. My great, how sweet the sun. In 2010, there was a thank you service for the 60 years of the restoration in Seoul and a revival service the Lord of the Glory Church. In 2011, he led revival assembly at the Osan Fasting Prayer Center, where hundreds of thousands of people gathered. In 2012, a revival service with Pastor David Yonggi Cho as the main speaker was held at Sangmin Prayer Center. Beginning with the missions in India in 2003, in January 2012, countless Indians experienced God's works and received Jesus and mission revival service in Bengaluru, India. Believe this to say revival India! <laughs> Through the revival service, under the name of Revival Again, in Yongnak Church of LA, Dr. Kim has kept going on his world mission ministry and revival crusade for Korea Church as well. In spring 2013, he led the revival service in Hawaii. In an inauguration ceremony, Queen Seoul Mayor Park Won Soon sent a congratulatory video, and Hong Moon Jong and Lee Hae Hoon, who are members of the National Assembly, sent a congratulatory messages. Meanwhile. Dr. Paul J. Kim was always with the underprivileged. He has been spreading the gospel to homeless people and visited the poor who were suffering from hardship in the cold winter and supported brickets. Chung Mong Shum, who is the former member of the National Assembly and former Agriculture Minister Kim Yang Chin, has been with him at a missionary site that spread the gospel to the homeless in countless hours. <laughs> In 2014, the Chukbuk Church held a Grand Praise Festival to spread the gospel to young people in Gangnam. After taking office as the 100th President of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of Korea in 2015, he proclaimed the Word of God at the Hillsong Concert in Korea and gave a great influence to the young people. <laughs> There were many revival services abroad in 2017. Firstly, through the revival assembly in LA, revival occurred continuously in many churches in LA. The revival crusade in Miami impacted many believers. Now 
반드시 승리할 걸 믿나이다 이거 요구하시는 거예요 반드시 주님이 역사해 주실 걸 믿나이다 Indianapolis United Revival Assembly Dr. Kim demonstrated the amazing healing of God In 2019, finally, a World Mission Center in a National Mission Thesis was established to serve as a bridge for world missions. On January and February 2019, there was the first service at the International Mission Jesus to give thanks and glory to the Lord. I'm ready to obey you. I want to follow the, your command. If you don't come to my house, just I obey your word. Some miracle and the healing power will happen my house to my servant. For the past 20 years, Dr. Kim Jong-hoon has never ceased in moving forward for world missions and evangelism. The amazing work of God will spread throughout the world, transcending borders, races, and cultures. Dr. Paul Zee Kim has steadily and actively participated in cultural missionary activities and has been doing evangelical work for world missionary work, not only in the U.S., but also in a huge project for people around the world.